Hey everyone, what's going on? Lukeman here. Welcome back to my channel and today I want to share with you guys on how to make a 9 star medal. And why do I decide to do it right now is because right now we have an event which encourage us to upgrade our medal to 9 star. For example, upgrade 1 geisha medal to 9 star and you get 2 rainbow diamond and then if you transfer trade three for three times you get rainbow diamond so although uh, uh transferring the trade costs you rainbow diamond if you do it a few times but you can get back your rainbow diamonds from satisfying or fulfilling or completing this mission so if you're this video is actually for beginners uh, i think most of uh players who have been in higher ranks such as starting from A, I don't know, from A and above, or even from B and above or C and above, you guys have already known about this. All right, so you go to character upgrade and then go to metal. So to to make a nice star metal, you have to use this transfer trade. Basically, to transfer a trade, you can do it either by transferring a trade from your medals or from your items. So for example from medals, if I choose this one for example and then you transfer the trade from this medal into your base medal or if you choose your item so you can choose for example I choose this item and then you can transfer the trade from this item into your base medal so what's the difference between gold and silver item is that gold items you are not sure which one from this would be transferred into your base medal but for gold item, it's very special because you are sure that you would, re you would just get this uh, trait. And in this video, I'm just gonna do and show tutorial and example how to transfer traits from metals into, a into your base metal. And then you select a base metal. What is a base metal? A base metal is the, the, the metal that you want to create to be 9 star, for example. Let's take a look. What is this medal? So you want to choose the best medal to be your base medal <laughs> Because the base medal is your final product at the end, okay? So all right, this one gives me HP by 14% so This should be the best base medal because I don't want to lose this extra trait 3 Okay, so let's just choose this override which you want to replace this one star with three star you press override here and then you choose one medal that you want to replace yeah let's just make full hp okay full hp here all right transfer and then it's a 33 percent chances so you don't know which one would be transferred okay either one of these would be transferred so we press okay bismillah <laughs> so it doesn't work <laughs> so you gotta retry and once you press retry it's still an another 33 percent chances and this time for the second trial i mean for the first time you press retry it would cost you gems so it and you only have five times to do it so bismillah let's try our luck Still doesn't work. Let's try again. Okay, now this time for the two gem. Bismillah. Let's try. And you, we did it. And yay, finally. So you don't want to press retry here, but press confirm in case you like this. And then continue, of course, because we still have this two star to be replaced with three star, right? So you press overwrite and then. Let's choose the 12% HP again. I think it's it should be this this or this defend. Which one is the HP? Yeah, here you go. Replace it and transfer and Bismillah. Oh, we did it! So there you go, nine star medal confirm, and now you have your nine star medal. Now total great. Yeah, you would find your 9 star medal here. There you go. The one that we have just made. Our product. So, that's your 9 star medal. 
and then if you go to home and you would see in the mission event infiltrating land of Wano you can claim your gem because you have upgraded one Geisha medal to 9 star yay and then what else transfer trade to the Geisha 3 times so you can keep going so that you can you know get 2 more gems <laughs> And yeah, and then upgrade. Yeah, just if you can do this. Oh, okay. The rest are just, you know, upgrading and using character, capturing treasure, and all that. But that's basically it for the tutorial. I hope I hope you guys understand. Um, should I do one more time? Okay, let's just do one more time. Uh, let's just finish it. Since I I kind of wanna you know get that two gems. <laughs> So let's go transfer trade um, order received I can do one more with Brook attack okay nice I can look okay, at HP I get one HP one attack or oh, two attacks so far mm. uh, is there any more attack oh no this one Increase HP. So attack and HP. Mm, I don't think that's a good combination. But you can do attack and defense. Right? Can I? HP. HP, defense. Okay. I think I want to use this one. That's my base. Okay, and I want to override this first trait. And then I want to bet on my luck. And hope for getting the 18% HP. Where, where, where are you? 18% HP. Come on, 18% HP. Oh, there you go. 18% HP. Is it here? Yes, it's here. So this is dangerous because there are chance. There is a chance that I won't get that 18%. <laughs> but I'll, I'll take the risk. Transfer. Bismillah. Let's go. Yay! I got it on my first try. Confirm. And there you go. HP, HP, defend. Another 9 star medal. And then if you go to total grade, and as usual, you'd see here is your. Oh, nope. This one is the one that I did previously without you doing the video. Where is. Where is it? Ah! Uh, no, no, no. This way. Yay! And so, I have a f fulfilled. I have completed the. This mission, three times, claim. And I can do... Uh, well, I'm not showing the rest, I guess, because this video would be too long for that. So, that's kind of it for this video. I hope you guys understand, and thank you for watching. And I hope for the best of luck for you guys, so that you can spend less gems, but still get a 9-star medal. See you in the next video. Take care.